Hello, it is Saturday, February 25th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solved. It's a Saturday puzzle today, so we're going to be solving a um, tricky, uh, non-themed, unthemed crossword puzzle. That's what we should have in store for us on a Saturday. The toughest puzzle of the week, as it's as it's known. And this challenging, unthemed edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Alex, Laura Sexton, Victoria Rajishka, and, as always, the uh, invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Shulmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign for their generous support of this series. And thanks to all of my patrons for keeping this whole thing going and supporting this channel. I do very much appreciate that. If you'd like to become a patron yourself, you can do so at patreon.com slash daily solve or in a link in the description field underneath the video. And by going there, you can become a benefactor and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug or you can become a patron at any level you choose and get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And I know I've been saying for the last two days there was an acrostic puzzle going up, but I forgot about the mini puzzle speed solve that I had to do yesterday. So that was the bonus video that went up yesterday, the weekly mini puzzle roundup. And uh, today, shortly after this video um, debuts, the most recent acrostic will go up. I think the penultimate acrostic, unless the um, New York Times can be persuaded to keep that feature on their website, which I certainly hope they do. Um, and uh, you can also join the Daily Self Discord chat server. There's a link in the description field to that as well. And please do subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've not yet done so. Thanks to everybody who has become a subscriber there. All right, let's get on to today's puzzle. This is a Saturday unthemed construction by Trent H. Evans. This is his ninth puzzle for the New York Times. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. Dessert portmanteau. Not sure about that. So portmanteau is a sort of new coinage created from two other words, but I'm not sure what that is. College brother in slang. A, a frat bro? Would we really have bro in an answer that include, whose clue includes the word brother, that would be sort of surprising to me. Although, the frat bit, dessert pro portmanteau could be froyo for frozen yogurt. That would be a portmanteau. Maybe it is. That's so surprising if that's bro. I'm very curious to see if it is. Quivers on the radio. Is that someone's name? I'm not sure what that is. Because I don't know why someone would quiver, sort of shake on the radio. I'm not sure what that would mean. Making a point with an E that makes it look French. Oh, if, you, uh, if you're on toe in ballet, so you're, you're on point, um, on toe, and uh, the question mark lets us know that something a bit clever is going on there. But I think that's the answer. Point shoes, for instance, are, are what ballet dancers would wear. Okay, shoelace, shoelace tip is called an aglet. I do happen to know that. And something that guarantees you'll come out on top. A rigged game or something? A rigged... A rigging? I'm not sure. That G doesn't look very good here, does it? Modify. Requires. If something requires something else, it obligates it? It's too long. Hmm. It's funny that these two both feel like they're too long and... If it were not a, a Saturday, I might wonder if I could squeeze something else in with a rebus, but I shouldn't be thinking about that. Bond figures, yields, and a bond as in the financial instrument. You could have a you could discuss bond yields. How much the bond is going to yield. Modify. Tool tool on? That doesn't really work. Quivers on the radio. I still am not sure what this is. Robin? Robin Quivers? Is that somebody? Just trying to think of names that could go here. Requires. Oh, obliges. Right. Okay. That's very similar to obligates, but in a form that actually fits. Would have been particularly ridiculous if I had tried to read this that in, given I could have just thought of an almost identical word. So something that guarantees you'll come out on top. Not sure. Modify. Hmm. Surely this is frat something. Far from wowed response. Big deal, you might say, sarcastically. 
frat boy, maybe? See 36 across, and 36 across simply says, with 26 across, eccentrics. So this is the second half of a phrase meaning eccentrics. Odd ones, maybe? I'm going to put that in for now and remember that it's speculative down there because I haven't looked at any crosses. But let's just see, because that would allow this to be frat boy, which is I, I, which I like much more than frat bro, so I'm glad that I didn't leave that in there. Progressive rock band inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2017. Um, presumably the band Yes, I would think, based on the crosses. And, oh, Rogaine, right. So that's a um, hair, hair growth or hair regrowth brand. I see. So that guarantees you'll come out on top. I see that your hair will come out of the top of your head. All right. So to modify something is to tailor it. I don't know why I couldn't think of that before, but that makes sense went long ranged or something. If you went long, you kind of increased your range. You went to longer range. There might be another meaning I'm not thinking of. Cheap and tawdry. Low brow or low... Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, let's 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 go back up to as, as though we were just marching through the puzzle ordinarily here. Denial of responsibility. Abrogation or something. Thereabouts. Could be ish or something like that. That much is clear. Informal retreat. Not sure. I'm going to look at some of these shorter answers. It should be easier. To beaver away could be to toil, to work. But toil feels a bit more thematically in line with beaver away than simply work. Work is such a common word. Stand a little blank between me and the sun. Repeated words from Diogenes to Alexander. Stand a little... I'm not sure offhand. Far left or far right, maybe. A pole? A sort of political pole? Or a wing, maybe? Left wing or right wing? I don't don't really think either of those is correct. Things sometimes named after metals. Things sometimes named after metals, I'm not sure. Blank you, says you, maybe, is sort of a retort. Oh, stand a little less between me and the sun, maybe. Reputed words from Diogenes to Alexander, I see. That looks like it might be the answer. And that that makes this plural, which it would likely be. So, far left or far right, yeah, I'm not sure. Denial of responsibility could be a phrase or it could be a noun. I mean, it could be a noun in the way that denial of responsibility is, but it could also be a phrase that you say to indicate denial of responsibility. I'm not sure. That much is clear. Informal retreat. Could mean retreat in the sense of a spa or retreat as in a you know fleeing from a, a battle or something. Last in a long line. Nth, maybe? Not sure. Who wrote, our life is frittered away by detail. Simplify, simplify. I don't know. Perhaps another philosopher, but I'm not sure which. What about this? Blank league. Little league doesn't really fit, and I don't think L-I-L league is really a thing. Um, Rec league, like a recreational league. Put uh, Oh, put up could be erect as in a building. So this could be rec league. Scraps ends with S probably. Amanda of Togetherness. I'm not familiar with Togetherness, but Amanda Pete is an actor, so that could fit. Scraps. Well, if not for Pete, I would have said Shreds, but that is not going to be the answer. Probably ends with an S. And Spurs to Prod. If you spur someone on, you prod them on possibly. Or a horse, maybe. Okay, what am I missing here? This could be Thoreau with this R-E, Henry David Thoreau. Is there any way that is correct? Everything good? Oh, yeah, this could be the word you. Everything good? Something you? Um, What's up with you? Or how are you? Is it maybe just how are you? That feels a bit more generic than everything good, which has a bit more of a slightly slangy tenor than how are you, but 
Could be it. Let's look at the crosses. Cheap and tawdry. Oh, low. I wanted this to be low something, didn't I? Cheap and tawdry, low something. <laughs> Went long. Ran. Oh, ran over, as in a broadcast. Went long. It ran over time. There we go. That, that I'm certain is correct. To bring on is to hire staff. Turn follower in Texas Hold'em. Oh, I'm not sure. It's, it's obviously a poker term, but... Uh, sign at some exhibits. Exhibits in the museum exhibit or um, an exhibition game or something? I'm not sure. Word with ships or shorts. And electrical danger, a live wire or a something. Not sure. Like grumpy among the seven dwarves. The meanest, maybe? Not sure. Sign at some exhibit. Okay, I need, I need to find something else. I need to find something up here or I'm never going to make any progress. Denial of responsibility. Okay, this doesn't look like it could be N unless I have something else wrong, which is entirely possible. I don't know why I, I immediately put in says you. Did, did I have a reason for that? Probably there are other things this could be. Informal retreat. Is there a reason I thought I thought that was something home? Informal retreat. This boy, this little corner is is quite difficult. So thereabouts. If this were ish, oh, a hidey hole, right? Okay, an informal retreat, a hidey hole. So the informal sort of arguably refers to the language as much as the retreat itself. Hidey hole is kind of an informal language. This could be then be says you. Okay, that much is clear, so I gather. Yes, there we go. That much is clear, so I gather. Seems seems like the case. Far left or far right? Oh, a side, maybe? Is it as simple as that? That's more straightforward than I expected. Denial of responsibility. It, no, no. Wide, ah. If you're wide, you're too far to the left or too far to the right in a sort of sports match or something, maybe. Because this could be... it wasn't me. There we go. This sounds right. This was Nth. This was says. This was Thoreau. And scraps are melees. The right. As in um, fights, which was not how I was thinking about scraps, but I should have considered that a scrap can be a fight and not just a shred of something. All right, good. Sign at some exhibits. No cameras. Don't take photographs of whatever it is is on display. Fictional student of the Lowood School, Jane Eyre. And turn follower in Texas Hold'em. So, oh, something card. Um, electrical danger, arcing, sort of an, uh, uh, you know, arcing electric is sort of a live wire, arcing electrical kind of danger situation. Um, so maybe Grumpy is the meanest of the seven dwarves. And a bit of a tire that shares its name with part of the musical instrument, right? A G-string. You know, various instruments are tuned such that they have a uh, a G-string. A G-string a string tuned to the note G. Okay, turn follower in Texas Hold'em. Still, yeah, I'm not sure. Something found under a hood. A car engine can be found under the hood of a car. Oh, low end is cheap and tawdry. There we go. And word with ships or shorts, cargo shorts and cargo ships are both words. So giver card, liver card, fiver card, I don't think is the answer. Uh, I'm not sure. Bond figure could be, I feel as though we're probably meant to think of the James Bond films, a villain or something, but maybe it has to do with chemical bonds or something like that. That's my guess. Slangy catchphrase of encouragement. Oh, get her done. I, I suspect a kind of American slangy kind of exhortation. Bond figure. Oh, 
wait, we had yield. Yeah, we did it. We had bond figures up here. I completely forgot about that. And then directly underneath it is bond figure. Oh, that's very good. So maybe a rate, a bond rate and bond yields and bond rate. Oh, that's funny. So are they both financial terms? I didn't expect that on this one for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe the singular figure felt more like it was referring to a person or something. I don't know. Okay, particular. A particular idea is a certain idea. That looks right. Golden Globes nominees for... Sorry, Golden Globe nominee for 2012's Arbitrage. I don't recognize that film. Um, who is a director or an actor or a writer? Gear, Richard Gear, maybe? No idea. I'm just guessing purely based on the crosses here. Divisions of families, right. Um, genera, right? I just came up in the crossword recently. So the plural of genus is genera. Um, and I don't, I think it was in the New York Times crossword maybe about two weeks ago that this plural was raised and I had to remind myself of the existence of that word. All right, a farm denizen could be an ant from an ant farm. And Jenny Blank, co-star of Beverly Hills 90210. I have actually never seen Beverly Hills 90210. I have no idea who this is. Jenny, I just have no clue. Maybe I'll recognize the name. I'm not sure, but I can't think right now. Like many children's stories. Um, not sure. And when some arguments, arguments might begin. Not sure about that either. And a pro with digital photography. I mean, it could be a pro with digital photography, or it could be pro. I, don't know. I was going to say in favor of with digital photography, but that doesn't really make sense, does it? Okay, actress Birch. Um, Tara Birch is an actress, right? But that's just, doesn't uh, doesn't fit. Hmm, I'm not sure. Nincompoops are twits, maybe, and singer songwriter named the High Priest of country music. I don't know, should I know this? I probably do, but I can't, I can't think for some reason. Nickname that's an alternative to Pat. And uh, lead into Logi. I mean, probably quite a few different sort of scientists, or, or not scientists, sciences and the kind of, you know, philosophical fields and things. Which one is it? Uh, now you've crossed the line. O something? Oh, this could be theology then, if that started with O. It's equivalent to under over 2,500 human days a dog year. Seven, which is what? Seven standard years? Mouthpiece. A denture. Um, yeah. A denture a sort of tooth prosthetics. Uh, to release something is to issue it. Birch. Is her name is her name spelled differently than I thought it was? Oh no, Thora Birch is who I'm thinking of. Thora Birch. Sorry, Thora Birch is who I had in mind. I just had her name completely wrong. All right, there we go. So an alternative to Pat is Trisha. An alternative to Pat. Oh, oh Patricia, of course. Pat Patricia. Right. Yes. And more balanced. Um, is saner, I suppose. Now you've crossed the line. Oh, it's on. There we go. So this is Twitty. Okay, I think I've probably heard that name, but I'm not, I can't even think who, I, I can't think who the person's first name is. Uh, but in any case, there we go. Twitty, the high priest of country music. And visit with on. Um, call, to call on somebody is to visit them. Pacific is calm. Adjective meaning calm. And shoe chain... Aldo? Is Aldo a shoe company? Not sure. Computer program, computer program command. And instrument originally played with a quill, a lyre, I suppose. That's interesting. As opposed to one's fingers. Like many children's stories. What's some arguments? when some arguments might begin. Pro with digital photography, question mark. So why does this have a question mark? 
What is that getting at? Not sure if I found. If I looked at all the downs, shoe chain, computer program command, many a scout master, a dad maybe, a sort of of, of um, you know scout in a scouting context, a scout troop, home of Rehoboth Bay. I don't recognize that. I don't think. Like many children's stories, read along. No. Read aloud? Oh, maybe this isn't a lyre, but a lute. Ah, okay. There we go. Another sort of very, very um, I don't know, it's sort of associated with sort of antiquity. or uh, No, I guess the lute is more associated with a medieval context, and the lyre is more associated with antiquity. So I guess they're not really the same in that respect. Uh, in any case, many children's stories read aloud. And I still don't know the Jenny. When some arguments may begin, oh, trial... Arguments in a court setting, trial date. There we go. And this probably is Aldo. Is it Aldo? Aldi? I think it's Al- Aldo. Aldi. I mean, Aldi is a grocery store. Um, shoe chain. And computer program command. A load. Load, you know, something from memory or what have you. And, oh, a, a hand model. Right, I was wondering where the pun was going to come in. Digital as in referring to digits, fingers. And uh, a hand model would have their hands, their digits photographed, and they're professional. So Jenny Garth, okay, I don't recognize the name, co-star of Beverly Hills 90210. And there we go. That was the Saturday crossword. And I think well, it was a pretty tricky crossword. I think we had very long answers, relatively few very short answers, and very relatively few sort of crossword fill type answers. Maybe ish and nth are examples of that. Oh, what was this one? Home of Rehoboth Bay, Delaware. Okay. I did not know that. Um, But this is a very sort of legitimately filled puzzle for the most part, and lots of unusual, (laughs) lots of just unusual answers that you don't necessarily see all that often. Dog year, um, Froyo, Aglet, hand model, trial date, read aloud. I mean, I, you know, these are not things I've get her done. River card, river card. I never looked back at that. That was the turn follower in Texas Holden. So yeah, I think I think a, a very, um, very impressively filled grid by Trent H. Evans. Well done on a Saturday. And that was today's crossword. So if I turn on the spoiler wall, we can discuss, I think, just two clues from yesterday's puzzle were the only corrections I had. So this was very interesting. I'm Eden, I'm sure many many of you knew this, I didn't. I'm Eden explains that iguanas have a third eye called a a parietal eye located on the top of their heads. It contains a rudimentary lens, retina, and nerve connections to the brain, allowing it to detect light and dark. This eye is useful in detecting predators. Also, other reptiles like the tuatara have a third eye as well. Very interesting. I'll have to remember that. I'm amazed I didn't know that, but I don't think I did. And Ben Ward points out um, the Ethan Hunt role in the Mission Impossible films was not originally from the television series. It was created for the movies. The only character carried over from the show to the movies was Jim Phelps, recast from Peter Graves to John Voight. So that shows you um, how useful it is to rely on sort of extremely creaky decades old memories, uh, which I should not do live on video if I can avoid it. Uh, So there we go. That was the New York Times crossword for Saturday, February 25th. Hope you enjoyed it. That marks the end of the video, today's video as well. And I'll be back tomorrow for the Sunday crossword, a large grid with a theme and uh, probably an easier solve per answer than this one was. So I hope you come back for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care. Mm -hmm.